Hi guys, welcome back. I'm just gonna update really quickly um, my cycle so far with it being my round two of Clomid. Um, this round of Clomid has been a little bit different than the last round of Clomid, but I just wanna go through and kind of tell you where I'm at, what I've been feeling, and so you guys can continue following me along on this journey. Clomid, which again is my second round, has been um, a little bit better than the first time. If you watched my round one Clomid update, you would know that after I finished taking the Clomid a few days after the symptoms set in and um, for about five days, which were all technically my fertile week, I had cramping and just really it was uncomfortable almost like period cramps that never stopped. It was just a constant kind of feeling and it almost just felt like I was swollen, like my ovaries were like twice the size. Um, it was just like the strangest feeling and it lasted for um, almost the entire five days that were my fertile days. Now this month, when I was taking the Clomid, again, I had no symptoms while I was actually taking it. They started once again two days after I stopped taking it. And I only had the cramping and bloating for one day, but I had to leave work because it was quite painful. Um, it just felt, again, like everything in my lower abdomen was bloated and it was just very uncomfortable, very crampy. It kind of radiated into like my lower back. So I ended up coming home from work that day and having a heating pad on and that really, really helped me a lot. After that, I really had not a lot of anything, um, which was kind of surprised me, but I was very thankful because the cramping from the last month did not feel very good. So I'm glad that it was only one day this month. I technically was supposed to ovulate um, yesterday or today, which was yesterday was Friday, today is Saturday. I took an ovulation test on Thursday in the afternoon and it was positive. Now, of course, an ovulation test doesn't guarantee you will ovulate. It just detects the LH surge, which is the luteinizing hormone that your body produces right before ovulation occurs. Um, but sometimes you can produce that hormone and not actually ovulate. So my body it geared up to ovulate. So whether I did or not, I won't know until obviously my progesterone level comes back and I'm due to get that level drawn on Monday, March 6th. So my actual 21 day Saturday 21 falls on a weekend, so I have to wait till the following Monday because the weekend I will be out of town, so I can't come to the lab that weekend. So where I'm at right now, I'm just, I'm feeling a little bit concerned maybe I didn't ovulate this month. Even though I did get the positive, the positive ovulation test, the very next time I took it the next morning, it was negative and it's been negative ever since then. So I think maybe I waited too long to take the ovulation test and I actually maybe, um, ovulated earlier than I thought I was going to because I took that ovulation test on cycle day, I think it was cycle day 12, which if it was, which if that was a true positive and I was going to ovulate, I would have ovulated on cycle day 13 or 14. And last month it was on cycle day 16. So I guess next month, if I do not end up pregnant, I need to start taking my OPK so the day after I stop taking the Clomid because I didn't realize it would be such a big variation of days whenever I do ovulate. So the only reason why I say I'm worried that I may not have ovulated is because I didn't feel the pain, the cramping for all five days, I only felt it for one. So I don't know if that directly correlates to ovulation or not, I have no clue, but I did get a positive ovulation test. So I'm just gonna hope that means that I did ovulate and my husband and I were able to monopolize his time here and it worked out perfectly so <laughs> um hopefully we'll see how that goes but um that's pretty much all i had to update you guys on i know this is very very short very to the point but i mean honestly guys i feel i feel pretty good this month um i think i just don't want to put too much pressure on myself to think about it anymore i just want to wait for the progesterone test when it comes back that I ovulated, that will be another win in my book. And then we'll go from there as far as pregnancy testing. And I hope this month I can pregnancy test and show you guys 
like a live one. Um, again, I still feel horrible about last month and how I said I would take one and I never did. And then I took one and I didn't get to film it for you guys. But, um, so I'm going to keep the rest of you guys in my prayers. All you mamas trying to conceive. I've been thinking about you guys a lot. And it's funny when I'm not filming and I haven't just put a video out. And there's days that I'm at work and I'm just like, I wonder what's going on. Like with, with this person or that person or how they're doing and how their cycle's doing. I think it's so great to be part of this community and us kind of all of those of us trying to conceive together we can kind of talk to each other and kind of follow each other along i think it's so important to have people that you can kind of go to and communicate with because i currently don't have any friends that are trying to conceive because all my friends are pregnant <laughs> i have tons of friends and people that i know that are currently expecting i'm like the lonesome wolf over here <laughs> it's not expecting yet so um it's nice to be able to come to youtube and connect with people and talk to you guys and get your feedback and your support and me give that support back to you guys. Um, but for now, that's all I had to update you guys on. I will talk to you guys when I get my progesterone level results back, which is Monday, March 6th. So somewhere around there, I'll be back to update you guys. Hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Bye. You better